Start by giving out religious diplomats. Here it is. Now right click on Burgundy and check their enemies. Usually their enemies are Denmark, England, France, Castile, Aragon, sometimes Austria and rarely either Savoy or Venice. So most of their enemies will support you from the start. But England and Denmark usually won't. England won't do it at all. And Denmark is quite an interesting case. First you need to improve relations with it. Let's do it right now. Usually it won't take long. If you want to ally Denmark, you may ask for support from one great power. If you do it from two great powers, then Burgundy will break PU with you. And you don't want to do it early. So let's ask for support from France and wait until Denmark agrees. Usually it does so in a few months. Just hover your mouse here. And if the difference is just too big, like 20 or 30, then don't even try allying Denmark. You will just waste your time. Here it is. Let's ask it to support us. Also technically I can ally Castile if you want to. but. Two of great powers should be enough. If only one great power rivals Burgundy, then I recommend to restart. And also, the perfect scenario would be if Austria rivals Burgundy. That's because if you like Austria, it won't demand a lawful territory. Before you declare on Burgundy, summon the Diet, and there is a big chance that there will be this proposal of the nobility, which will give you very good general. So, you can't run away in this patch, because your neighbors won't give you access. Don't even try, I already tried this, and they didn't. So, what should you do? I've come up with another pretty efficient strategy, and I'll show it to you. So, before declaring on Burgundy, move your armies here, in this province, you'll be protected. Now start improving relations with Austria, declare on Burgundy. Check your advisors for the stability cost one. I have one, if you don't, not a big deal. This advisor will save you some mana. So now if you could ally England, Denmark, France or Castile, they may have pretty big fleet and Burgundy has pretty mediocre one. So when they move their fleet here, you may load your troops on your boats and sell them to save country. Well, here it is, here it is, let's transport our troops to Denmark. Denmark or England are the best locations because, well, Burgundy wouldn't be able to reach you. You may ask, what now? Nothing. You may lower your maintenance and wait until your allies do the job for you. It was quite fast. Just want to remind you that I didn't do anything at all. It's that easy. So what should you take from Burgundy? Obviously independence and some provinces, specifically Breda and Antwerpen. So also you may give one province to France, if you allied it. If you allied England, don't give any province to it. So a rule of thumb, if they lose less than 15 trust, then they'll remain your ally. Also there is one really good strat, I'll tell you about it, but I won't show it. Because it relies on RNG, so you may not cancel subjects, but leave them to Burgundy. Then it develops some province to 30, wait until approximately 1460s, 4070s, and then you take this thing, transfer subject. Then you declare on Burgundy, and steal its PUs for 57 aggressive expansion. Like I said, it's pretty random, because if Charles dies, well, you may forget about them. I prefer to do it traditionally. France is quite unhappy, but like I said, if it loses less than 15 trust, it will remain your ally. Let's just be out. Here it is, our general. And here comes the tricky part. Austria may demand unlawful territory. It's very bad, but you can't do anything about it. The only way to do anything about it is either to ally for Austria or dismantle HRE. And also you may have good relations with Austria, but it's not a guarantee. It still may demand unlawful territory. By the way, I forgot a really important thing. You should seize land before the war. When you summon the diet. Also hire free company and buy this naval doctrine. Dutch trade fleet. Don't forget about it. And set your ships to protect trade in English channel. So if you somehow allied England instead of France, break alliance with it and ally France. Usually it's possible. What can you do with it? Nothing, decline it. That's why allying Austria early is the best. Right now I recommend to hire improved relations advisor if he is available. If he is not, not a big deal. And also open your macro builder, diplomacy and outrage countries. And wait until your aggressive expansion cools down. By the way, when you're done improving relations with Austria, make your diplomat a building spy network in either Friesland, Utrecht or Chelry, depending on who is the weakest one. Most likely you will have a lot of poor exhaustion. Try to lower it. It will take a lot of mana, but it's totally worth it. Also, don't forget to set this edict here. Encourage development, let's do it, and develop Amsterdam to 30. If you didn't release Flanders and Brabant, always do it, always do it, because you need this ability. And it may be quite difficult to get it without this pin. When you call your new provinces, you'll be able to finish these two missions. Maybe not this one, but usually you will. You may complete it whenever you want, but of course I recommend to do it when you need to have strong navy. Also, yes, England will most likely annex Flanders. That's why I said to allay France. Also, of course, forgot about mana privileges. Of course, take them. Of course, take them. Right after you seize land. 
Also I recommend to ally Munster, it's pretty good ally. It usually agrees to ally you and it will help you with Priestland, Utrecht, Jewelry, basically your main rivals. Around 1455 you may declare on Priestland or Utrecht, so how to test if there will be a big collision or not. So save game, declare, see for pits, and just take whatever you want and see if there will be a big collision or not. I think I should wait another year and I'll declare on Utrecht. Now let's crash the game, if you're not playing in Iron Man. Just reload your save. Oh, that looks interesting. Friends won't let me conquer Utrecht. Let's at least mark it as points of interest, I think. And then I'll declare on Friesland later. That's cause I'll have truce with Utrecht. They gave me Utrecht. That should be enough. I don't really need our stick, to be honest. Because to form Netherlands, you just need Utrecht, Jerry, and 10 provinces in the low countries. I'm sure I got some aggressive expansion, but this shouldn't be a problem. It's just one province. So I guess I'll declare on Friesland, because Friesland is the weakest neighbor. Although, Jerry is necessary for Netherlands. So you need to secure it either way. But I'll wait for a better opportunity. Now let's declare on Friesland. Let's maybe call in Denmark. I could win of course without it, but with it it would be easier. That's why Denmark by the way is pretty good ally, it's really close to you and it will help you. And it travels parking relatively often. Advice on managing aggressive expansion. Build spy networks. They reduce it. One higher spy network reduces aggressive expansion by 30%. But even if it's less, it's still good, you will still get some reduction. So technically I can either vassalize it or full annex it, but then there will be this collision. Let's just take these two provinces. And collision wouldn't even form as you can see. Let's just take war reparations, transfer trade power, and money and let's piss out. Don't rush, remember you just need to have like 10 provinces, including Utrecht and Jerry by 16th century. That's not difficult at all. And time for ideas. As your first idea group choose either innovative ideas if you want to play tall and want a lot of mana, diplomatic or espionage ideas if you want to conquer faster, and maybe military ideas, but usually you don't need them. You may take offensive or quantity ones. I'll choose innovative ideas. Don't take exploration ideas yet. Wait until you get 7th diplomatic tech and then you'll get them as second idea group. Because before 7th diplomatic tech you won't be able to colonize something. Unfortunately, you won't have colonial range. Okay, let's chill again I guess. Then I'll conquer Jara and then I'll be able to form Netherlands. Here it is. Didn't take long. I think I'll decline. Well, yes, here it is. Now I can choose transfer subject. Like I said, around 1460s, 1470s. Let's see. Well, Parkenty is still alive. So yeah, it may work. It may actually work. Uh, but if you don't want to do it, choose this one. Justified wars. Well, I'll ask Denmark to prepare for war. And I will declare on Jarre. Well, if you don't have big allies at the crease to help you, you may ally Leash, Cologne or some other small nation that will. Let's also build spy network. So unfortunately Cologne has occupied its province. Mm, not a problem. Not a problem. The most important thing is Jalere, this province. It's very important because without it you won't form Netherlands. Jalere and Utrecht. Remember it. Well, I think maybe let's socialize it because I want to get the whole Jalere. That's because then I have exactly 10 provinces and I'll have everything necessary to form Netherlands. Coalition would be quite small and it will decay quite fast. Now I'm in defensive war and I can call my allies. Well, that should be extremely easy. Well, that's it, 10 provinces. 10 provinces, that should be enough. So basically, you just need Utrecht and Jerry. And also need to have 10 provinces in uh, low countries. Doesn't matter what provinces. So it may be Friesland, England, doesn't matter. Just remember to expand slowly. Okay, next idea group. Next idea group, obviously exploration. Also quite the important thing that I didn't mention, don't take provinces from non cogent nations. So somehow Flanders was released. So it may be a good idea to declare on them and not on Friesland like I planned. Keep an eye on Flanders because Bruges is quite an important trade center in English Channel. Quite often England conquers it. So you just need to wait for a good opportunity like this. Maybe I'll be able to call in France and some other ally. Maybe Flanders will be released. Well, yeah, just wait for a good opportunity and take Bruges. It's quite an important province. So I think I'll wait until my heavy ship is ready and I will declare on them. Well, here it is. Now let's declare, I think. Let's declare. Here I am able to do it, uh, but in your game you might not. Not a problem. Declare on someone else or just wait. If you have 10 provinces and Jerry and Utrecht, you are golden. Per in succession. Interesting. What a timing. Interesting, but that's better for me. I can conquer it more easily. Okay, so I pissed out England. Now let's piss out Flanders. Let's do it. So the coalition will be quite small, to be honest, but not sure. Don't piss out. I'm sure, so I'll piss out some money and that's it. And also I'll start annexing jewelry. I want to remind you that when you annex vessel you'll get relation malus. Don't forget about it. And by the way it's even more than unlawful. I interesting. Quite interesting. Well coalition has appeared unfortunately if you're a beginner 
uh, try not to create coalition, of course. This coalition is pretty small, by the way, it's, yeah. It won't declare on me, I'm not afraid of this. It doesn't even have any big nations. Also, to colonize, uh, you might need to complete this idea, and also you might need to hire colonial distance advisor. Here it is, colonial distance idea. Let's take it and start colonizing Africa. Briefly about colonization. Focus on Africa and Asia. And if you have spare colonies, colonize North America. Africa is especially important because every coast either flows to Evila or English Channel. You want to route it to English Channel. It's extremely important. Remember it. Without every coast, you won't be able to get anything from Asia. You need to control it. So, try to colonize centers of trade and maybe you conquer something. Here it is, integration is finished. <laughs> Technically, I can just forget about conquering anything. Well, I'm already extremely rich and I already own almost all three centers in the uh, English general. Technically, I can already form Netherlands, I just need to wait until admin tech 10, but there is one catch which I will tell you about later. Also, make all of your colonies trade companies. Also, forgot to tell you about very good privileges, so. Obviously, advisor cost reduction, and also, 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 here it is, grand new world charters. Pretty good, pretty good privilege, you may take it, I like it. Also, you may take this privilege, it's pretty good too, it's pretty good too. Basically, native assimilation converts the population of the province to goods produced, which is pretty cool. It increases your income, basically. Not sure why this coalition still stands, I'm quite stronger than them, and also, they almost don't have any aggressive expansion. The coalition is disbanding. A little later than I thought, of course, but still, it's some progress. Minus coalition. Well, let's conquer Friesland then, the last center of trade in the English Channel, except this one. Uh, but well, I don't want to conquer anything from England yet. And let's call in Denmark. So I'll finish this war and I will briefly tell you about reformation. Well, let's peace out. Very small coalition, almost non-existent. So let me briefly tell you about reformation. It's not like Russia, you may remain Catholic if you want to. If you don't want to, well, you may reform. What's the benefits of reforming? So in theory, Catholic is more powerful if you reliably become career controller. But it's very random, and if you don't, uh, then Protestant and Reformed have smaller bonuses, but they're more reliable. You will always get them, and not randomly. Also, if you're Catholic, then you get the buffs while trying to colonize someone else's colonial region, like for example if you want to colonize Caribbean region, I'll get the buffs. Protestant has pretty mediocre bonuses, but it's pretty worse still. So Reformed is pretty cool. First, Netherlands are reformed in their real life, so it's kind of roleplay, and also reformed has great trade bonuses. As a third idea group, obviously choose expansion one. You need more colonies, so you can colonize Africa, Asia, and preferably North America. So about former Netherlands, it's quite easy, you just need to conquer Utrecht, Jarre, and two other provinces. That should be quite manageable and quite easy. But there is one really big catch. Don't form Netherlands until you've conquered low countries. That's because after forming Netherlands, you leave the HRE. And that means that Emperor will protect the HRE nations from you. So first, conquer whatever you want, and only then, form Netherlands. Hope you liked this video, hope everything is clear to you. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Wish you good luck and have a great day.